Hey everyone, welcome to this video. In this tutorial, I will show you how to enable auto login on Debian Linux, allowing you to automatically log into your system without having to enter your username and password every time you start up. When installing Debian 12, you have the option to choose from various desktop environments, including the default Debian desktop environment, GNOME, XFCE, KDE, and Mate. As Cinnamon is my personal favorite, I opted to install only the Cinnamon desktop environment on my system. After the installation has finished, by default, you are required to enter your username and password every time you log in. However, since I'm the only user of this test system and I want to streamline the login process, I'd like to bypass this step and enable auto login so I can access my system quickly and easily without having to enter my credentials every time. To determine which display manager is being used, use the command system to status display manager. This will show the current status of the display manager service and help us identify which display manager is currently in use. Note that I'm not a Linux expert myself, so if you have any suggestions or know of a better way to enable auto login on Debian, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below. To enable auto login, I am going to edit the Lighten configuration file, which is typically located at etc. LightDM, LightDM.conf. I'll use a text editor to modify this file and add the necessary settings to allow a user to automatically log in. Once you've opened the LightDM.conf file, search for the Seed section and look for the Auto Login User parameter. Press the arrow button until you found the right parameter. Add the username for auto login. As I tried to save the changes to the lightdm.conf file, I realized that the save button is grayed out, which means I don't have the necessary permissions to save the changes. This is because the file is owned by the root user and I'm currently editing it as a regular user. To fix this, I'll need to use a command like sudo to edit the file with elevated privileges, allowing me to save the changes and enable auto login. After adding the auto login user parameter and specifying the desired username, don't forget to uncomment the line by removing the hash symbol at the beginning of the line. It's time to test if auto login is working as expected. To do this, we'll reboot our Debian system using the command sudo reboot or by clicking on the restart option in the desktop environment. Before I wrap up this video, I'd like to show you one more thing. If you're like me and you're using this system as a test machine, you might not need the extra security of a lock screen password. So, I'll quickly show you how to disable or remove the password prompt from the lock screen, making it even easier to access your system. To disable the lock screen password, it's incredibly simple. Just head to the screen saver settings and then move two settings to the left, the lock screen when putting the computer to sleep and the require a password to wake up options. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Until next time. Bye. What's going on?